what do you think are the areas where government can really you know whether it's around regulation of uh, you know sort of how do you encrypt and uh, sort of data etc how do you you know around smartphone users etc what are some of the regulations and just government intervention or 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 just you know where can they actually support and they've set up a very big fund uh, for mm-hmm. investments etc so, you know that is of course one but around fintech around digital uh, you know data adoption uh, around uh, you know just uh, so around the supply chain etc you know what role do you think the government can play to really sort of uh, really a organize the sector and also bring in a lot of efficiency and let actually ag tech play a much more pivotal role in in the sector that's very important because as you said government is the biggest stakeholder here uh, indian agri unlike uh, some developed countries uh, uh, we we still have government as the biggest uh, stakeholder not just in terms of procurement but in facilitating the entire value chain uh, and from that perspective government also uh, maybe directly maybe indirectly becomes the most important stakeholder when it comes to anything uh, 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 that we talk about in in the agri data area right so as as we had uh, discussions earlier that data is the most critical uh, thing here if i have to uh, you know put up any any kind of uh, technology the most important impact is how real time data access can happen and how that data can be analyzed right there at the point at the local source some intelligence can be given out of it to the farmer right then and there uh, contextualized to where they are and that can be uh, uh, you know utilized by the farmer now what that means is the intelligence is going to be created by a lot of different players and that means taking the data from the farm lands and giving access to it uh, to the industry right the the industry the tech industry and the other allied industry uh, sectors that are going to be able to use that data so that definitely uh, a play of data usage uh, we've we've seen the government take a lot of proactive steps there nascom has uh, uh, you know consistently presented its stance when it comes to data privacy data localization ownership of data etc and i think uh, Uh, you know it it kind of applies to this sector as well the other aspect about where the regulator can come is the entire farm to market happening online uh, and how that can happen in a very secure way uh, you know without sacrificing uh, the the transactional integrity uh, how can uh, transparency be brought to the market pricing aspect uh, so those are some of the areas where we feel that there is immediate need for some kind of an action and there is action but i also want to bring out something else which is apart from a lot of the regulatory stand that the government definitely has to take i think the government also has to take a stance in terms of making awareness making learning making education and r&d in the agri sector a uh, very very prominent again when we talk about r&d that would require a very uh, expansive and a very a uh, unique set of things given the nature of agriculture in india right from pre harvest to post harvest and beyond consumption level but we are seeing early steps right uh, pre stpi setups uh, coming up uh, there's a lot more activity happening there uh, but still the ip creation is probably at a very very fag end and we are very very early in that uh, probably one ask could be how can the government proceed um, uh in terms of uh you know establishing norms around ip creation in the agri sector uh maybe an area uh, where a lot more action can fr- from the regulator and the government side can proceed so that it actually becomes much easier when it becomes mass scale